Hi everyone, and welcome to Power of Parks, where we share inspiring stories from people who have benefited from nature, parks, and recreation. My guest today is Jeremy Palmer. He plays Bacha at the Therapeutic Recreation Complex. He's played for about seven years, and he's won gold on a national level for the sport. Welcome, Jeremy. Thank you for having me. So, I want to start by asking you, how did you find out about Bacha? I, uh, I have uh, muscular dystrophy. That's my um, disability. So, um, I went to a, uh, a muscular dystrophy fundraiser uh, one year in 2012. And uh, I met a man there named Marco Dispaltro, who is uh, who introduced me to the sport. Um, he's got the same disability I do, so right right away we had you know that that in common, which which helped to um, you know for to to understand kind of you know not only about the sport but how to um, you know we had that way of relating you know because we had the same very similar experiences so. So uh, he uh, invited me to come to a, an all sports day at the complex. So they had, you know, they had all the sports. They had power soccer, they had wheelchair rugby, they had, you know, a bunch of different things. So I started playing it there and I was like, you know, um, it was actually a sport that I was not only could be good at, but um, was actually fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah, once, once I got into it there, I kind of, he was pushing me, Marco was really pushing me a lot to, to um, be more involved in it and he was you know pushing me to compete and you know all of those things I don't think I was ready for that at the time I was kind of um, it took me it took me a little while I, I would kind of practice off and on recreationally just for fun you know and uh, it you know it got to that to that point where I was just like all right you know what I'm gonna see try my hand and see what happens you mentioned muscular dystrophy. Can you talk a little about what that is? Yeah. So, so it's a it's a type of neuromuscular disease where basically there's a there's a chemical in all of our you know most people's muscles called dystrophin, and I don't have as much of it as most people do. So, um, what happens is, um, it's I find it kind of interesting now that I've learned a little bit about it is that your muscles are just constantly breaking down. So basically, I'm just I'm slowly getting weaker, very slowly. You know, now I'm I'm 39 years old, and um, I wasn't permanently in a wheelchair until I was about 28 or 29. Yeah. So um, yeah, so I um, I you know I was walking around, I was doing the best I can, but eventually there comes a point where it just it becomes too difficult to sustain. You know, I was falling down, I was getting hurt, I just you know, and you know mentally I was just exhausted from it. And so, yeah, you know, me changing from go, going from, you know, walking around all the time to now adapting to this was, was great. I wish I had done it sooner, to be honest, because it made everything a whole lot easier. And uh, so what exactly is Boccia? Like, how do you play it? So, um, I mean, if anybody's played the, the Italian game with the, the, the large balls and you throw it on a, on a gravel court, you know, outdoors... Um, it's similar to that, but it's kind of uh, adapted for um, for people that are disabled. We play kind of we play on a gym floor with balls that are kind of similar. It's kind of like a, a rounded, hard bean bag. I would describe it as, and so basically one person throws out the, the white ball or the jack, and then um, from then on you try to get as many balls close to it as you can, you know, closer than your opponent. So in an individual match, you each have, uh, you know, include, after the, somebody throws the white ball, you each have six throws, and whoever has the most points basically wins. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it's just the, the mental part, the strategy. It's one of those games, it's quiet. It's not, you know, rambunctious and loud like, you know, some of the other, like wheelchair rugby is or mm -hmm. some of these other sports that they do. Um, so it's very... Um, you know, the, the mental part of the game is just the biggest part to me. There's just there's always something else that you're learning, always some other way, you know, to do things. And that's one of the things I've really learned playing with Marco a lot was. So when Marco introduced you to the sport back in 2012, were you looking for an opportunity to play sports or to get out? Yeah, I mean, I played sports when I was a kid, you know, when I was still physically pretty able to do so. Um, but, yeah, I, I definitely uh, missed that um, competition thing I missed um, you know I could played with my friends all the time we did all kinds of sports and stuff um, so yeah I definitely missed it and I had definitely gotten kind of sidetracked from it you know life gets in the way 
And uh, yeah, so I, I definitely, you know, once once he kind of introduced me to that, and I had that opportunity to, you know, to to not only just be competitive, but the community of people um, to spend time with, it was like, wow, I really miss that. You know, I didn't realize how much how much a part of my life it was not there. So did um did something pop out to you about Bacha in particular? Well, it it was um it was specific to to my disability. It was actually the easiest sport for me to play, and and also um, people who have muscular dystrophy usually do pretty well with Bacha be- because of you have to be limited to a certain extent, and because muscular dystrophy. You you still have good use of your hands. You still you know you're you're relatively strong. You're, you know you you're co- the coordination is an easier part of it. So yeah, I definitely gravitated towards that because it was uh, it was fun, challenging. It was mostly mental. You know it was um, you know it, there was it became re- it starts out very simple and becomes very complicated. Yeah, and, and so because of that, how would you say it helps you mentally? The focus is the is really the whole thing. Like you, you have to, the the con- level of concentration that you have. You're so like it's not. It's funny. It's not physically exhausting. Like we just had a tournament a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, I mean I played three matches over eight hours, and the match takes thirty or forty minutes. It's really not physically demanding, mm-hmm. but I was exhausted. Like mentally, having to focus that hard and concentrate for that long a period of time, you know, because. That's really what it's all about. You've really got to keep your concentration and the breathing techniques and all the things that you have to do to to keep yourself in that space to play well. It's So how else have you benefited from playing the sport? Um, well, it, honestly, the, the, it's really given me, like, um, you know, a sense of purpose and uh, help with my self-confidence. And um, because it, it's like it, since I really started you know, playing it more, uh, more intentionally to try to compete and um, try to, and I've, I've gotten on the national team and um, things like that. It's, uh, it's really, it's become like this, you know, another thing that gives me purpose, honestly. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's great to, to have that motivation drive from this thing that, wow, I really have a chance to actually do something you know, it could change change the world, basically. So. And you've actually won first place on a national scale for Bacha. Yeah, so um, so in uh, June 2018, so last year, um, I went to the nationals in uh, Illinois, and uh, I got first place in the individual event, and we got silver in the pairs. Huh. So, so yeah, we did, uh, I did really well. It, yeah. was, uh, it was one of those things that was just kind of like, I, I was like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. And I really didn't have any expectations going into it. Um, but it was just one of those things. It just kind of worked out. And, you know, even when I won, I was just kind of in shock. It was just unbelievable. Like, I can't believe I just won. Like, you know, crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really, um, it has really helped me give me that sense of purpose to, and to get to that level, can you give me a sense of how often you play, how often you practice, how much you're putting into the sport? Yeah, I mean, I try to get to the gym twice a week, at least for four hours at a time. Um, and then, you know, I will, you know, play, you know, even in my house. I mean, the nice part about this sport is all you really need is like some kind of tile floor. And I have a big tile floor in my house. So, so I try to get my throwing in whenever I can because this sport's really about repetition. Um, so yeah, I, you know, they want us to practice 10 to 15 hours a week, so. And can you talk a little about the Bacha community itself? You know, what's it like? What are the players like? Oh yeah, I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole community with this sport, you know, and we just had a, a training with the national team in Colorado at the beginning of February. So, um, so I got to, you know, meet everybody. I mean, I met most of them at the nationals last year. So, so yeah, it's, it's really great. I mean, you know, you, you're all on the same page. You're all going through the same stuff, especially disability-wise. Mm-hmm. And it's not a, not the kind of thing where, um, like, I was worried that, you know, going to nationals, oh, it's going to be ultra-competitive and everybody's going to be trying to, you know, it's going to be really cutthroat and, mm-hmm. you know. But, you know, in, in the case of the United States players, we're all on the same team. Mm-hmm. So um, it, everybody's very welcoming, very um, supportive. Everybody, you know, looks up, looks out for everybody. So... Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, you know, Marco is, is kind of my, my mentor, um, you know, because he's one of the best players in the world. You know, I get to bounce ideas off of him. And like I said, I can't state it enough that us having the same disability just, you know, we throw it the same way. We do a lot of things the same way. So 
it, you know, he's the best person for me to ask advice from, um, especially bacha wise or life wise, honestly, because he's been competing internationally for you know a long time. So. So basically, in a nutshell, why would you encourage people to play the sport? You know, the the sense of community. I mean, for a lot of people, especially you know, when we have new people come to the gym to play, um, a lot of times they they haven't left the house or done a whole lot outside of that or their house in a long time. So I think that's number one, just to just to get out and be doing stuff and and to to give you you know some sense of of purpose and, you know in general, but. The um, you know the community, the the fun of it, the competition, um, all of those things. Yeah, it, it's it, you know it's sometimes I think people think it's kind of a boring sport, you know, at first. Mm -hmm. But once you actually start playing it, it's it's real easy to get to get into it, get hooked on it. You know, hey man, I I I get that. You know, finding that sense of purpose is difficult difficult thing to do for for a lot of people, and I think it's it's great. I'm glad that. That I've found it, and you know, if anybody, if there's anybody, especially you know, if you're disabled out there and you're looking for a place to, to hang out, or, you know, there's a lot of activities there. So. And in getting into the therapeutic recreation complex, you practice there. What do you think about the facility? Um, I mean, I think it's they've been great. I mean, they work with me no matter what I need. They're always, you know, hey, if you need anything, let us know. They're very, um, very supportive with practice time, and and they really. Um, and they really do a lot for the community. You know, they really help out um, people that you know. Even if even if you just uh, need some place you need to go, like they're really helpful with that. So they um, they've been uh, they've been fantastic. I mean, it you know it's it's changed my life. I can't say enough about if they had not been there that day. It's funny how those you have those moments those moments in your life that 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 and that was one of those things. If Stacy had not been there with. Mm -hmm. Marco at the muscle event, uh, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. If it, if it wasn't for this sport, where do you think you'd be? What do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I try not to think about it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, I just, I was just, you know, I was telling a friend of mine, I was just like, you know, I was out in Colorado for four days. I was like, can you believe this? Like five years ago, would you have thought that I'd be training with the national team in Colorado Springs? Like, you know, so... So yeah, I don't I don't know where I would be, um, you know, but it, it definitely uh, it w it wasn't a place that I wanted to be, mm -hmm. um, you know. It, it definitely um, not only not only is just something to do, but you know, personally to have to have a goal, to have something that I feel like all right, this is what I'm building towards. Mm -hmm. You know, it made a huge difference. So thank you so much for joining me, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. It was great. Appreciate it.